When I had a Christian tell me, you worship an angry God. I pulled out my Quran, I said, read chapter one, what does it start with? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I said, read chapter two, what does it start with? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I said, read chapter three, what does it start with? He said, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I said, I guess what? Every single one of these chapters, except for chapter nine, all the way to 114 is going to start like this. This is how our Lord introduces himself to mankind. Ar-Rahman and rahim So don't tell me I worship an angry God. The Prophet said, you will find your Lord as you see him, as you vision him. Not physically, but as you see him. If you see Allah is angry and wrathful, and all you think is I'm going to go to hell, that's probably what you're going to find. Because that will change the way you see things. It will change your psychology. It will change your mentality. And you will not seek after Allah's forgiveness. Difficulties will come. Setbacks will come. Pain will come. Heartache will come. Death will come. As a matter of course. But none of those should ever affect or deter or hold back the da'wah. So from it we learn that we are a people who live for a mission. So make yourselves and your families people that live for the mission that the Prophet ﷺ lived for. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, Wallahi, I swear by Allah. He said the Islam of Umar was a conquest in and of itself. It was victory. When Umar became Muslim, it changed everything. Remember Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu was the first one to recite Quran publicly and almost was killed for it. And he was of the weak of society. He said when Umar became Muslim, SubhanAllah, that day of Islam was a victory. It was as if it was a conquest in and of itself. And his hijrah was a victory. And his leadership was a mercy. His leadership was a mercy. Why? Because Umar radiallahu anhu upheld the rights of who? The weak and the oppressed under his khilafah. His khilafah is the noted khilafah of justice for those who were weak and those who were oppressed. He said that, I remember the days we could not go and pray in front of the Kaaba. When Umar became Muslim, we'd go out and we'd pray, and Umar would beat the people up until we would be left alone and we could pray. Like no one would come near us because Umar would fight them off and we would be able to pray. A friend of mine who passed away, may Allah bless her soul, very young. And I saw her two days before, I was with her 48 hours before she passed away. And I was just coming back from Umrah. She looked at me and says, she was terminal. She said, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me life, there's two things I want to do. She has young kids. Didn't say anything about the children, <laughs> honestly. Or her yeah. parents were alive. Nothing about the dunya. Says two things. I want, I want Allah to give me life because I want to do two things still I didn't do. And I said, what is it? She says, I want to go to his house and I want to memorize the Quran. Two days later, she died. SubhanAllah. What do you think Allah will reward her? Because the niña, intention, in, yeah. <laughs> Subhan and I left after we, I was there when she had literally passed away. And I said, what is my excuse? I'm still breathing. It's not like Allah's mercy is only for those who believe. There is a specialized mercy for those who believe. But look at the mercy of Allah upon everyone and everything. It's there. He's merciful. That's why we are on earth. If Allah had to punish us for our sins immediately, we wouldn't be existing. But Allah says, no, no, no. I give you a chance. A chance to do what? Turn to me. Seek forgiveness. You will be forgiven. It's never too late. You breathing. Your heart is beating. Subhanallah. Turn to me. In what? Just say, oh Allah, forgive me. I'm weak. What I did was wrong. I won't do it again. I want you to forgive me. That's it. Allah says, you're forgiven. Just with those words. The first time you say, oh Allah, forgive me. It is gone. It's gone. Allah is the most merciful. Allah will make you go through some very difficult experiences. And you will not be able to see what good can possibly come from it. You will not be seeing what good, good comes from it. But Allah is fully aware that whatever experiences you're going through is actually good for you. There's something good in it for you that you cannot understand. Allah knows when it is best for you to get what you want. He knows if it is good at all to be given what you want. He knows if it is better for you not to have what you want. And we should know that whatever Allah has done is always for the better.